yes, yes. That's why girls in Saudi Arabia, they are so active in, uh, in social events and stuff related to girls, because this is one of the small doors that they can go out of home because, it, because of it. So if you will, this is one of the stuff that I started to edit Wikipedia because of in 2008. I was thinking, okay, this is great, like I'm sitting on my laptop and I'm just adding something to the community or to the knowledge and I'm not going anywhere. I'm just like at my home and, and, and no one will tell me like you have to go back at this hour, you have to do this, you don't have, this is at, this is at the beginning. So what I mean, if in Arabic region, if we will utilize the female, that would, uh, would reflect in a great impact in, in, in order to other countries as as So this slide is getting at a little bit of what Mark was talking about. Um, you know, that, that who is contributing also has an impact on what content we have. And so as Samir was saying, it does impact the quality. Um, there's been some interesting research looking at the gender of biographical articles, so articles about people on Wikipedia. Um, and you can see here the orange is articles about women and the blue is articles about men. Uh, there's, there's a big gap there um, and a lot more articles could be used to be created. Now there's sort of a, a number of, of reasons to, that this is true, but, um, but it's still it's worth considering. You know, some people think it's just about contributors. It impacts the content as well. Um, and this is Arabic in particular. We see this across lots of languages, though. Can, can I make a comment? Yeah, please. Uh, yeah, about that 13%. Um, <coughs> another way to look at it from my perspective, it's a good number. I mean, uh, if you look at my interest in editing Wikipedia, it's mostly historical figures. And if you look at Arabic history, and this applies to European history as well, it's not 13% women, it's 0% women, you know, closer to 0 so if we're getting 30 percent, I think that's a good number. We should be. You know, it's not okay. The obvious is that it would be if it's equal and fair, but that's not the way to look at it. The way to look at it is uh, that's just how societies are, I guess, and the historic history is kind of unfolded that way. So some parts of it is not out of our hands, I guess, is what I'm saying. Yeah, I think that makes sense, and it's uh, you know it is a, it's a sign of progress, you know. Uh, but what I always say when this comes up is, but I think we can still do better, right? Because we aspire to, to be better. Um, we aspire to the sum of all human knowledge, which means we really do have to do better than, than scholarship has done in the past. But you're right, it's, it's, of course it's a challenge. So, Yes, but the other thing that I wanted to say is that when you talked about making uh, contributions, we should not say that only women should write about women, men should write about men. We should encourage, for example, men to write about women, and of course women write about men, that should be, yeah. So we should not focus on women who write about women, because it, I don't think it's uh, healthy. So why less contributors, like females, we try to summarize the reasons of, of like, we tried to have this even from real people. We did a survey, like I sent to my company, which has like 20,000 female working there all around the world, and especially in the Arabic uh, region. Number one uh, answer was lack of free time. Like the man, even if he's working, he gets back to home, he has nothing to do, and he will just sit on Wikipedia and he editing, and no one will tell him, like, what are we doing? But the woman, she has to go back and she has to cook and she has to take care of the children. It is right, but to to a limit, because like we are, we are talking about, we have a huge number of, of girls that are not married and they are not doing anything and they are just sitting online and and not doing Wikipedia or contributing. So the second thing was. The technical interface and complex policies take time to navigate. Same, I have, I have like 15 
friends of my like girlfriends and stuff. And the same, they start to one article, they edit couple, then they feel bored of because of one thing, because they don't know how to do the tansik of Wikipedia, they don't know how to do, add uh, resources, they don't all this stuff. And when you try to to teach them, okay, it, it takes time. You cannot teach one by one every small thing. You they, they lose their interest. It's not about they don't keep it. Well, and, and just to add to what you're saying, to be clear, you know, we don't think that the markup is harder for women than for men to learn, or that the policies are more difficult for women than for men. Uh, it is related to this time factor, you know, that if it takes, it, it isn't easy, yeah, if it's not easy to start contributing and to get involved quickly, the people who have less time will be more affected. two of these uh, things, like for example, for, for women, uh, uh, especially maybe, uh, maybe in, the, in the Arab world, uh, like maybe all over the, the world, uh, uh, because of their responsibilities, they are, uh, uh, like for, for us, maybe in, in, in the Arab world, it's like they are uh, limited in, in going out or uh, going in, it, it, it's like how they will get the gathering, men, they can go to the coffee shop, sit there, they can, discuss, learn, and, and then everyone can help the other person to uh, learn the, the, the tools and, the, uh, and all the technicalities of the things. So the lack of education and lack of communication and, and like the mobility, this is uh, like a cluster of things that happen. Yeah. I sometimes wonder about that, about, um, you know, mobility, that uh, it seems like the Gulf particularly is sort of ripe for editing parties, you know, like regular regular sessions where women get together every month and, and you know, sort of work together in someone's home or, you know, wherever, um, right, that we can take Wikipedia to people. They don't have to just go, go to Wikipedia. And, if you, and you make it fun, right, at wiki parties. Many girls, but still, like if you want, like this is like a personal experience. Like, 2008 to 2011, I was editing Wikipedia without meeting any Wikipedian. The first time, not like still now with my sphere, no Wikipedians. But it's it's the lack of even using the social media or, or the internet itself. I learned Wikipedia by Wikipedia. Like oh, I found out oh there is something to teach you how to edit, how to do this. All the talk pages, I was asking people, they don't reach this level to, oh, I can ask. They don't ask, they just do it, or it didn't work out, and they leave it. So I think that, uh, see when we had this conversation, is, is the awareness. Uh, the, when they start, when they start at the first moment, like, you have these tools to utilize. Everyone will answer your questions. Everyone will be supportive to you. This lack, or, or they think lack of support, makes them, like, even if they will start, they will leave it in a while, like, even these initiatives that happened in the Gulf area. You know, Anna is going to start telling us it's almost time soon, so we better keep moving. <laughs> okay, Andy. I'd like to issue a challenge to all the men in the audience. <laughs> For every five articles that they write about a male subject, they make themselves write at least one about a woman. Yeah. That's good. That's not, that's not you know, half and half. One in five, one in six. And if they will do that, that will start to improve the content coverage of women. It would make a difference. It will be harder for them because there are fewer sources about women in history than about men, which is part of the problem. We have some responsibility to address that. So okay. if every man here goes away and starts to write more articles about women, slowly it will, will improve things. Yeah, and it's important to remember that men are part of the solution too. Sometimes I think when people think of the gender gap as a woman problem, right, it means that only women can solve it. And, and you're right, we all need to work together to solve it. So I'd like to see a show of hands. How many of the men in here will promise to do that? <laughs> all right, we have an allies pledge. I will pull up on all of us. Anna's watching. Thank you. Um, you know, one of the challenges with, with 
content is, of course, as you said, right, reliable sources that, you know, when you're looking for bio, you know, biographical information about women scientists, it's more difficult to find than about male scientists. So it is true that uh, the bias here is like...
I love to be wrong. That's great. Um, thank you. That's wonderful. <laughs> we'll have to search through again and, and, and make sure we see them. Um, so like it, it surprised me a little bit. You know, I did see um, I did see as I said I saw you endorsing. Um, and Ravan told me that, you know, she was reading through ideas and, uh, and I think you said that, you know, most of your ideas you already saw. Somebody else had already written them up. Um, but I, I sort of have, have these questions about, like, why, why didn't we see more participation? Um, you know, is it because your ideas were already there? Um, is it because you don't think the gender gap is, is a priority issue? You know, you have sort of bigger, bigger issues to focus on right now. Um, is it just because you didn't know how or where to get involved? We posted uh, in, in the village pump and so on and so forth, but you know, still is, is awareness, as, as Ravon says, is an issue with so many things. Was it with this campaign as well? Um, or was it like, oh, MetaWiki and Idea Lab is this weird, foreign place that I don't hang out in, why would I participate here? I don't even know, you know, what the policies are or how to join. Um, so any feedback from people about that would, would be interesting. And Emma is giving us the chalas <laughs> uh, So let's finish just by saying, you know, we're really interested in what ideas you have and what projects can we start together. Um, it's something that I think Ravan and I would both to talk about more. Yeah, and, and just one thing else, like I know when, like this time I think it's the most time that I see female contributors from Arabic Wikipedia in one gathering, thanks to, to listen. And I think it's, it's a space to, to know about your own experiences, how you uh, are planning to, to write like an article about it, how did you start editing? So this can be inspirational for other people. How did you, like, I, I remember for two years my mom was telling me you're wasting your time in Wikipedia. Until I went to Washington DC, this then they thought like, oh, they are real, like they are, they are not only <laughs> on the internet. So I think for any one of you it had some, like they had some problems with the, with why you are editing Wikipedia, why you are wasting your time, why you don't do anything else useful. So I want to hear from each one of you like what happened and, and just like put it in one full article. So maybe any other girls in the future when they will start, maybe they will find their own issue in, in, in there. So oh this girl she had the same issue but she moved on and she's contributing in Wikipedia.